plants. You eat them for dinner, walk past them on your way to work, and enjoy them on your adventures. But have you ever wondered more about the fascinating world of plants? They're often overlooked, but have incredible adaptations and diversity. My name is Rachel Tancock. I'm a naturalist and educator from right here in BC. I have been obsessed with the natural world throughout my entire life. Oh my gosh, check this out. This is also very one of the first plants to flower in the Pacific Northwest in the late winter. From exploring nature as a kid to leading nature programs as an adult, I spend almost all my time outside. As I started to learn about plants, I unexpectedly fell in love with their fascinating lives. I began posting my botanical journey on social media and connecting with a huge community of plant nerds. I realized that despite them often being overlooked, people want to know more about plants. So let's give plants the spotlight and answer some of our burning plant questions. Starting with, how do you identify a plant? Trying to memorize every single species of tree, fern, shrub, wildflower, grasses can be nearly impossible. So start with the basics. Pick out an individual plant and take an informed look at it. Like this plant here is one of my favorites, hardhack. If we look at hardhack's leaves, we notice that they are oval shaped and serrated, which means they have little teeth along the leaf edges. Their flowers are very small, but if you look closely, you can see that they have five petals and five sepals. These characteristics tell us that this plant is a member of the rose family. Let's see what other roses we can find. Ah, here's one. This is bald hip rose. Although it looks different to hardhack, they're in the same family. We know this because of similarities with the oval shaped leaf, serrated leaf edges, five petals, five sepals, and lots of stamens. Some of the best help that we can get with identifying plants is on our phones. There are so many different apps where you can upload a photo and it'll identify it for you. I do it all the time, it's not cheating. There are some really great apps and everyone has a preference. But to start, I really like iNaturalist. I also love to use field guides alongside my phone to identify plants. So let's try to identify this one here. And let's start with the phone. So I'm gonna take some pictures of the key areas, like the leaves and the branches and the berries. Perfect. Now I'm gonna upload them into the app. And it looks like it's identifying it as red huckleberry. And that sounds right to me, but let's just confirm with the field guide. Red huckleberry, it says it has oval leaves, which it does, and round red berries, which it has as well, and also that it grows out of decaying wood, which it is. It's growing out of this decaying stump right here. So it's confirmed, this is red huckleberry. All species have scientific names, as you can see here. And this is great for universal consistency when botanists are speaking about plants. But for those of us that are not scientists and don't speak Latin, we can use common names, which often tell us something about the plant. For example, ocean spray looks like spray from the ocean. Nodding onions flowers nod downwards. Big leaf maple has big leaves. Trailing blackberry has trailing stems and black colored berries. And ghost pipes are as white as ghosts and look like pipes. And of course, there are plants such as Salal where the name doesn't describe it at all. When this happens, just follow the same techniques as before and you'll be able to identify it. Plants are truly amazing. All you need is a sense of curiosity to get started on their identification. Every plant has a story, so get out there and get to know them.